We know that girls have big dreams. They are full of strength, power, and ambition. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor so I can help people. I want to be a clinical psychologist. I want to be a nail stylist, a firefighter, and a police, and a dentist. I don't really know which one is better. I want to be a slime scientist. When I grow up, I want to be a martial artist teacher. I want to be a gymnast when I grow up. We are also living in a decade with more promise for women than any generation has ever seen. More women are serving in high-level positions in the government, in the C-suite, and in technology fields than ever before. And Dallas is booming with growth and opportunity. DFW is the fifth fastest growing metro area in the United States. But despite the inherent promise represented in these trends, we also live in a world that systematically shuts girls out of opportunities to grow, achieve, and lead. For girls living in poverty and girls of color who experience even greater inequities, the consequences are magnified. One in three children in Dallas live in poverty. Children who grow in poverty are much more likely to live in poverty as adults. We meet children who come from all different kinds of circumstances. I met this young lady who was in elementary school and we talked about what she might want to do when she grew up maybe about going to college and she said I'm not going and I said why would you not go to college and she said because even if I go I will have to come back here and nothing will change and so what's the point I am the typical oldest daughter of an immigrant Mexican family I'm like the only girl that's actually going to go to college all of the men in my family have become like engineers and lawyers and such, but there's never been a really good example of like a woman um, going to college and pursuing a career in STEM. I was interested in STEM, but there were no opportunities for me, and it felt really suffocating and I kind of felt stuck because I wanted to learn, but I didn't have the means to be able to learn the things that I wanted to do. It's very easy for young girls of color to not aspire to be anything more than what they've seen on a daily basis. But I'm grateful that Girls Inc. is a space where they can be provided with the opportunity to get the help that they require, whether that's tutoring assistance, whether that's mentorship, or whether that's just good job. I'm grateful that you're making progress. We must prepare every girl to discover her strengths, find her power, and create change in her own life and in the world around her. I'm expected to go to a great college and pursue a career in STEM. It's always been like, get married and your guy will support you. I don't have to be married to an engineer. I can become an engineer. I can become an architect. I can do this all by myself. Programs like this are more than someone coming in the school and interrupting the school day. These types of programs help the girls know and see that someone believes in them and knows that there are possibilities and who will show up. They show up because they care and they come repeatedly over and over again. And so they become friends. We don't give these girls power. They're already powerful. But we know that when we give them the resources to overcome their barriers, they will change the world. I have all of these big dreams, all of these big plans. So I want to be a U.S. diplomat or work with the U.N. as an ambassador. Because of Girls Think, I learned about different career options in STEM and I started a love for science. I am looking into A&M and the University of Texas at Austin. Thank you for helping girls like me. Thank you so much for supporting Girls Inc. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting Girls Inc. Because without you, I would not be the person I am today. When we give girls the tools and opportunities, not only do they change their own circumstances, they change the circumstances of others around them. They change the world.